So this morning I thought we would do a mauve cat eye. I got a request in the comments that I read this morning when I was responding to comments. So I'm gonna do that. I have not forgotten about the request to do a Natasha Denona makeup look, and I will get to that. I just rinsed my nightly skincare off, and I'm gonna put on the Kate Somerville Goat Milk Moisturizing Cream again. That's how much I have. Remember yesterday I said that it, it really goes a long way. It really feels good. It feels refreshing. It feels like drinking a glass of water. <laughs> and it's kind of sticky. It gets a little tacky as you rub it in. I pulled out this palette. Since this is probably, you probably still can get it, which is unlike many of my things. But most of my stuff is discontinued. Okay, I'm going to use the NARS Creamy Concealer because that's still sitting here from my NARS look. What was my NARS look? It was a dark eye and a nude lip. I think E. Garden requested that. If you've requested something and I haven't done it or acknowledged it in a video, you need to ask me again because I may have forgotten to write it down or something. It's not because I didn't care. It's, I don't do many cat eyes. Well, I don't know why. I have a color changer thing. I'm going to use that on my Jaclyn Hill brush here probably needs washing. It doesn't seem to be taking the color out. All right, so I'm gonna take this color right here in this palette and begin mapping out this look with this big fluff, fluffy brush from Jaclyn Hill's Eye Master Collection. I'm trying to look straight into the mirror so I can Keep this going in the right direction. It appears to be going in the right direction so far. I don't know why I haven't practiced this look very often. I did a broad yesterday that was of Persian descent. She wanted a very elongated eye like this. She wanted it dark, a dark elongated eye and so I did all right let's see what am I going to do now I think I'll do the lid lid now I'm going to use a flat it's like a concealer brush this one's the Jaclyn Hill 41 See, it's flat. It's kind of like a concealer brush. I bet she used this to wet and pat on shiny, shiny shadows, which is what I'm going to do. This is the one right here I'm picking. I'm picking choicing that one. Oh yeah, this was supposed to be a Moby look. All right. Well, we'll we'll fix we'll fix the moviness here in a minute. I I lost my focus already. We'll put a wash of mauve over the top of it. This is the color that I'm washing over the top of it is the same color that I put in the crease and drug out to the corners like that. All right, now I'm gonna take a little tiny angle brush and start mapping out that cat eye. I don't like that one, it's, it's got split ends. All right, this is an E65 and I'm taking the darkest color and I'm going to Drag it straight in like that. I'm thinking leaving 
my eyes open is going to be paramount to getting this liner in the right spot. I'm going to go ahead and darken along my lash line. Like that. I'm not quite sure why. Considering that the analytics say that most of my viewers are close to my age, I can't imagine why we're doing a cat eye. Unless, of course, you're, I don't know, single and dating? I, I don't know. I do not know what the situation would be that would inspire someone my age to wear a cat eye. Still one going down and one going up. Alright, I think I have it mapped out. Okay, and then I'm going to take a pencil brush. and connect it a little bit right here. And connect it a little bit right here. And connect it underneath. Looking cat eye ish. If I might, I'm well pleased so far. I'm going to bring that dark on in a little bit. All right, now I'm going to get a liner pencil. This could be where it all, where it goes tits up. I'm looking for a black pencil. Okay, and then I'm going to take a Q-tip. Go ahead and I'm, I'm touching the tight line here. I'm coloring in between those lashes. Now underneath. And now I'm softly blending that. I'm going to pull out another palette that has some movie colors in it. This is my Tom Ford palette, Virgin Orchid. I'm dragging the mauve in from the outer corner. Little fluffy brush. And take the white from in here so we don't go in the warm direction. The request was for a cool colored cat eye. So I'm gonna highlight with something that does not warm this look up. Wow, this finger is the Tom Ford darkest color, and this one is the uh, Bare Minerals darkest color. 
This one's got a sheen and this one does not. I don't know which one I prefer. All right, let's go ahead and do brows. I'm going to use my Tom Ford brow pencil in the color Espresso. You want to see my nails? Yes, they have a mauve theme. Like I said, the color is Espresso. And I'm just going to draw a little hairs. There we go. I'm going to take some of the white from the Tom Ford palette. Take some lashes. I'm going to glue them to my lid at some point. I'm going to glue them on my lash line. I like the way this is turning out. Glue my brows into place. This is my Sigma brow gel, and it probably has soap on it. If I find that my brows are still wanting to wilt, I'll go back and add more soap. Let's do some foundation while that dries. I'm going to use maybe just the Natasha Green today. And maybe just a, instead of the oil, I'm going to add some of the Kate Somerville goat milk. And then I'm going to take my shedding brush from Charlotte Tilbury and use that to apply this foundation. I always hate this big jump from here to here, right here. Let's Finish with our foundation. It matches pretty good, right? It's early in the morning. That's why we have stupid lighting. And we just got back from our Sunday morning walk. We did not walk to the river today. We took a different walk today. I finished putting on my foundation and I put on the Paradise Lash Primer. And now I'm taking the Tom Ford Badass Mascara. And I'm going to apply that beginning with bumping my tight line and then I'm going to get the tips. So I've probably messed up the cat eye shape by putting so much mascara on the bottoms but maybe not. Alright that was the Tom Ford Badass Mascara. I'm going to take the Tom Ford eye pencil and then I'm going to take the darkest color from the Virgin Orchid. And put that underneath and I'm using the little sponge applicator from the palette all right let's put some lashes on the outside corners let me find my lash glue I'm using the dark lash glue I put it on the back of my hand it's almost time for church so I need to hurry it with this look I'm taking the 615s from Salon Perfect. Here's what it looks like. I'm going to cut it in half. I'm going 
going to put some glue on. I haven't done lashes in so long. I feel like it needs lashes to make a cat eye. These are symmetric lashes. They're so you can cut them in the center and and use both pieces. I'm going to take a lash tweezer. I think these come in, I don't know what they come in. One of the lash sets. All right. Wow, I hadn't done this in so long. Set it on the outside. These are stupid lashes. This is why I don't use these. The ends always flip up. Always. Now for the other side. See that the the end is on the inside and they always they always flip up. I accidentally back when I first got turned on to these lashes, because these are some that Flower Bomb likes. And I liked them because they were spacey and you could see your lash look, your shadow look up through them. I accidentally, I used them on a bride and they made a perfect, if they're such, the, isn't that the funniest phrase? A perfect ass out of me. I had to go, I had already left and I had to go on location where she was getting a photo shoot done to fix it because it was popping up. I had to drive back, park outside the gates, jump the fence, and fix her lash. I have a little supply of these stupid lashes that I haven't been using because of that. that was, that's a good lesson, you know what I mean? When something embarrasses you like that. Believe it or not, I didn't have any trouble putting lashes on my bride yesterday. Okay, that looks symmetric, I think. There we go. Let's do some under eye, I gotta hurry. It's almost time for church. I have to do some under eye concealer. We're still watching church online, our church service. The church that we've been going to for about 30 years. They decided that there will be mask wearing to service. So I opted out. I'm not, we both, we both opted out. Neither one of us are going. All right. I'm gonna take my Tom Ford eye defining pen. And I'm stamping it along the lash line. Okay, where were we? Oh yeah, we need to do Laura Mercier translucent powder, loose translucent powder underneath the eyes. I'm gonna use the Diamond Dust from Laura Geller. I'm gonna use my new fan brush. I'm using the Dolce Vita from NARS. It's a very sheer blush. And I will come back and finish this look after, after church. Ta-ta. So I ordered this from LNA. This is the outfit I ordered the same day that I ordered the green bathing suit from Bondi, Australia. The ocean glass colored bikini. And I would say somehow the bikini beat this outfit here by like a week. But this is from LNA. This is what the t-shirt looks like up close. And if you like the t-shirt, this is, I'll have to lift, list it in the down bar because 
or in the description box because there's no information on these. There's the brand though. And I'll, I'll put a link in the description box. So there's the top and then it's bike shorts. And these run super small. These are a medium. And they're the shorter length. I don't like them down here because I feel like they look frumpy. And I got a medium. I also have a short torso or I'm short waisted. I may be long from, I don't know. Maybe that's what it is. I'm long from there to there. But anyway, because I'm short waisted, I don't know, it's not bad. Anyway, that's what these look like. And I'll put the links in the description box. The other thing is a bathing suit that I ordered from Miami and they were really fast shipping. And here is Luli Fama. And I ordered the, bot. this is what the bottoms look like. And I got these in a, I think I got these in a medium. Like I said before, it's because I have wide hips. There we go. There's all the information on the bottoms. And it has, I guess this is a new trend. It's got this on the middle of the back, little metal plate. And then the top is like this. And the triangles are, it's got a stretchy down here. I like that. And I will definitely be taking the pads out. I, I never keep those. I don't have very erect nipples <laughs> so that's usually not an issue anyway i'll show you what these look like so this is what this swimsuit looks like i forgot to point out this you can order this swimsuit in a d cup and there, there's what the top looks like. Evidently, I've lost a cup size out of my out of my top since I lost weight. I was a double D. Now I'm just a D. And as you can tell, this top has better coverage because it's a, a D cup. And I was also thinking that this bathing suit could mix and match with the other one. It's also reversible. See? So this is the bathing suit bottoms from Bondi. So it can mix and match, see? And see, this is the top from Bondi. I would say that I like, I would say that I like the Miami, Miami company better. I like the way the bathing suit fits better. Definitely the top, the way the top fits better. It might be too big around. It, I don't know. It just doesn't fit well, turns out. And I think these are a little bit roomy. The ones from Miami. I probably, I probably could have used a small, maybe, maybe in this one. 
Yeah, it doesn't fit quite right, does it? It's got a little gappy thing here or something. But anyway, that was my thought process in this bathing suit was having something that was mix and match. Let's look at this bathing suit on the other side, both pieces. So it turns out only the bottoms are reversible. The, the top is not. So I enjoyed sharing my new bathing suit and, and my new LNA outfit with you guys. Okay, we're through with church now. The um, sun has moved and that's good. I got the thumbs up from, I'm sorry about my hair. Here, let's, let's not do, let's not do the pinhead look. Is that better? I had my hair up from my, from my walk. There, that's better, right? We don't have contour, bronzer contour. Do I have any up here? Yes. I'm going to pull out the bare minerals. I don't usually put uh, bronzer on after blush. What was my blush? Do we recall? Oh yeah, it was Dolce Vita. And the highlight was the Diamond Dust by Laura Geller. I'm going to further elongate my cat eye with the bronzer. Probably really doesn't do anything. Alright, and contour my nose a little bit. Alright, I have a lip conditioner on by Well People. It's called Nudist Color Balm. It really feels good. And then I'm going to take, I'm going to pull out my Scott Barnes in the color Princess Peach. How can I describe this? I don't know how I managed to buy a lip gloss that didn't have sparkle in it. But I don't think it has any sparkle in it. Sure enough, it's just a peach lip gloss with no sparkle. It does, however, feel good. Okay, that's my cat eye look. Get this hair fixed for a thumbnail. I don't want to have an ugly thumbnail. Thank you for the makeup request to do a mauve, cool toned cat eye. I enjoyed making this look for you. I hope you enjoyed watching and I look forward to the conversation in the comments. Y'all have a great day and I'll see you tomorrow night at seven.